till death, the wood pile. All right, hey. Uh-oh, Eddie, that's it. I can't take it anymore. Hey, look, don't give me that crap. You think it's easy for me? All right, catch me up. What are we fighting about? I just smashed my toe on that stupid wood pole of yours. Well, you got big feet like your father. Take it up with him, buddy. Let's, let me bottom line this for you. That wood is crazy. Are you crazy? I need the wood, that wood. Something wood related goes wrong around here. I need a wild variety of lumber. We're ready. How about if you ever actually need a piece of wood? Just go out and buy it. Do you have any idea how long it takes to buy a piece of wood? No, really. How long? Three hours, okay? It includes dry time, parking, and wood selection. Why do you need to do that? Well, if I you to walk on up to that paper tank, I don't want to dive in head first. Why are we debate, are you debating this? You've been piling up wood in the garage for the past 20 years, and you've done nothing with it. Let's face it, you're not a wood guy. How dare you? You know that a boy I built the cabin with my father. All right, we're going to hear that about the cabin again. I'm sorry to bore you with a funny moment in my childhood. I built the wood cabin with my father, our bare hands. If my uncle Gus was not played it fast or loose with a space heater, he'd be here there right now. Okay, but so besides the famous cabin, you've done nothing, huh? How many projects have you got, and got started over the years? Panty shelf, a roof shoe rack, the new screen, door for the back. Didn't measure that. I didn't. I didn't measure for that. It's got. It's got to be tricky. Eddie, build something with your wood. Build anything. Now I'll build something. Not. Not in the next twenty years. Tomorrow. Well, I'm going to be at work all day. Build something. By the time I get home, I'll have it hauled up. All off on Monday. Now what? That, now that my friend sounds like well, I would want to meet him. I would want to meet him. I like it. That's the first creative idea you have got ever done. Done with wood. Hey hey. Oh ow, 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 Okay. Okay. I'm going. Wow. Wow. It's real. A whole lot of sexy going on. You're wearing my shorts. Nice. That's good. Enjoy yourself. But I assure you, when you return to see what I built, your laughter will be placed. I go screams of light. I doubt that. What are you building anyway? Well, I'll give you one hint. I was saying, I may or may not rhyme with Jeff Goosey. All right, brave by, drive safe. Hands at 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock. You know, I actually don't have to hit the road quite yet. I might have a few minutes to watch the Master of Craftsman at work. Oh, fine by me, Timber. Look at that. You turn one piece of crap into two. Really go? I've got to go. Hey, since this might be the last time I'll see you with thumbs, give me one of these. Don't worry about that, me. I know what I'm doing. It was my element, like a duck to a pond. Yeah. For me, that's nothing like the feel of soft buttery wood. They're going to need a special brand aid. Oh, yeah. Hey, neighbor. What, what do you want? Woodcock? Nothing. You thought I'd pop over to my neighbor, do my neighbor thing. I don't know. Didn't know you were a temper drain boy guy. Oh, his painting gut crew, his radio being behind, the dull, painted stuck. I didn't speak the language, but he was 8% sure on that song. It's about infidelity. Well, what are you building? I don't know what the hell we're building today. What was all the questions? Who sent you here? Nobody. Jeez, I'm sorry. I heard the music. I thought you were grinning. I want to go. got to go. Wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Zach would stop. Cock. Listen, you're a very strapping fellow from Minnesota. I bet you raised a barn or built a butter churn or something. I think you confused people, uh, confusing people from Minnesota, the English. All right, look, Joey gave me a wood ultimatum. I don't, can't build anything by today. It, it all, all my wood goes, and I've got to be honest with you. I don't know what the hell I'm, I, I, the hell I'm doing. What do you mean? I thought you'd build that cabin with your dad with bare hands. Well, I, well, I did, I did, but the more I think about it, the only thing my dad let me do was hold the beer, make sure that nobody has got in, bees got in it. Right, that, this may be a stupid question, but didn't you build, can't, didn't, can't you build anything? Do I want all the wood gone? Why don't you get rid of it? You're correct. 
That is a stupid question. Because if I get rid of wood, that means she'll be right for 20 years. Can't be, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but I don't know any more about wood than you. Yeah, but, but look, we're just two smart guys. I'm sure we can put our heads together. We can build something great. Really? Yes, you're a man. You're a man, my man. I saw another man assist a, a, a home improvement project. There can be only one answer. Well, hell, yes. Now stock up, pick up the tool, and start banging one stuff. You're right. You know what? You're right. You're right. I mean, I mean, that's what we're, t- we're talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about that. Oh, do you feel good? Yeah, I feel good, you know. Can we do this? We can do it. Because we're men. Are we men? Oh, we're real men. You're damn right we're men. Yeah, we are. Now let's take off our shirts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, shirts on. Back on. Shirts back on. That was really uncomfortable. Yeah, that one's on me. Easy. Easy. I'm seeing hell. I am missing the shelf. Hell, let's hold it straight. I am holding it straight. You're nearly cockeyed. No, you want to, do you want to have her again? Huh? I can't, no, I can't. My thumbs are trying to take targets. Okay, hold it. You split the wood. Well, that was just a record long, last long nail. Okay, I'm putting in some wood puppy on it, putty in it. How are we doing? What, what time was it? Six o'clock. Oh, God. Okay, Joan's gonna go be home in one hour. Let's get uh, her on her feet and we start painting. All right, all right. It's a uh, left out. Okay, okay. Easy, okay. Right, put it level on. Don't need the level. It's just, it's go, it's just get the level with a bubble. That's no bubble. Eddie, there's no bubble because it's not level. Look, yeah, okay, look. Do me a favour. There's the answer to help me. Okay, I'll well, to tweak it a little. Yeah, this is okay. Come this way. Easy. Okay. Careful, all right. I'm feeling a little bit played in it. She's fighting me, she's fighting me, foot it. Put your foot in it. All right, I'm doing it. Foot, foot, you've got it. Foot in it. Take the, there's a bubble, come on. Eddie, I'm starting to hear. Come on, little buddy. Starting to hear some cracking. Slap some putty on it. Okay, well, now what? Here. Let's, let's just lay it down, okay? We lay it down in years and, uh, It'd be a nice sound about for children, what's fun. Seems kinda of dangerous with all those nails sticking out. Okay, it then it'd be a plant. Now about that. Well we've got some dirt in it. It's a beautiful plant, so let be a delightful planter. Gonna grow tomatoes. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's just a pile of wood again, Eddie. Hey you two. I bought you some lemonade. How are you going on down over there? My big couple of men's working with wood. Yeah, I'm putting them in a roll of bony towels. A dead ringer. What's the matter, Eddie? Not having fun? No, next door, girl. I'm not. Well, what's the cause? You haven't started yet. It's still just a big pile. Honey, honey, careful, careful. Well, let me, let me know if I can help. That will work in. You do? Oh, yeah. I mean, I used to. Every time I did wood shop, I can't, can't, honey, well. Ring the bell, ring the bell, bell, bell. bell. We're at honey, come, honey, bell. We're on the bus. Okay, it's lovely. It's lovely, darling. Oh, look, tell me anything you know about wood. Hello, Eddie. Madame, from what lo- from looks of it out there, you know, there actually seems to be some wood working today. That's right. Tools are used, balls are cut. A line between men and wood was blurred. I promise you put it made of wood and you doubt me. But doubt me no more. Boom. Maybe some room. Was that? Make some room. What what's that? is that? It's a pig. I can see it's a pig. What exactly does one do with this? Well, it's, that's obviously a cutting ball aspect of the pig. Oh, it could be a fancy cheese tray or a decorative knick-knack. A place in the hands of a creative child, a passport adventure. 
Perhaps you could start assembling a tree tray while you formulate your apology. Let me just get this straight. For the first, for the 20 years, you've been pulling me over the highways. You've been sneaking into neighbors' garbage cans. You've been trespassing construction sites. All to gather up wood. We should have been piling up in our home and daring dream of well being our family. Oh, well, one day you could build a pig. Makes me smile, Eddie. We're getting rid, you we're getting rid of the world. Keep it together. Oh, who the hell are you? Hi. I'm Greg. My wife hired me to fix the door so and do some stuff around the house. That's good. Don't bother me. I'm comfortable with who I am, man. I'm six foot eight and sort of about, about seventh grade. I ride roller coasters when I was free. I'm all man, hundred percent hungry, okay. What you got there? Chuckle uh, ask, chuckle drill? Well, I'll call us three quarter. Bit yeah. That's what what you talk about? Fifty, five fifty? You're saying w- words. You don't mean anything. Oh really? Well check that out. What do you think of a craftsmanship, huh? What's that what is that? Password adventure. Hey, would you hand me that dovetail jig? Oh, it's right there next to the biscuit joiner. Don't know that, that what either is okay, okay. Don't know what any of it this is. You look at you took my wood pole, are you happy, Greg? Hey, remind me to get some sugar. Hey, why don't you get Greg out to get it? Or maybe you can chop down some sugar cane and squeeze it with a dovetail jig. Ed, any of you stop it? I had a guy to fix a few things. I do know, I know friction you. I know. Could have fixed them anyway. Could have fixed them anyway. Come on. Let's, you could be yourself, you haven't been yourself all week. Ever since you got rid of that woodpile. Didn't mean what, I know what you, I know what they mean. What do you want, what do you want me to say? I love the freaking, I love that freaking pig. He's a beautiful, well crafted piece of wood. You're right. He's all these things. I don't even, I didn't even make him. The girl next door did. What? That's right. So get him out there and bring it back to the girl. I'm no longer deluded as I am. I'm just an underpaid high, underpaid high school kid teacher who actually died and be buried in a coffin. I did not make. Hey, Joy, get that evil pig out of my house. Why would I want this delightful cutting board that your husband made for you, driving that insane and be told he made it just he just me, just me, me you. Just told me you made it home. He said that you keep this, keep that secret. He scared me pretty good. He's like the biggest person I've ever seen. Anyway, you should take it, okay? Just stick the little guy in here in then. A little storage issue since the rest of our stuff came. So you really love to kayak, huh? It's Jeff's. It's his dream to kayak down every class. Wow. How many times, tell me, has he done Done so far, none. In fact, since I've known him, then he's been in it. When I said for one time I got it up in the middle of the night to grab a glass of water, he's sitting in it nude. Even though you might, he saw each other, he never acknowledged it. It's maybe none of my business, but we're seeing you know you need a room and you don't, you didn't use it. Why don't you just make him get every little bit? I don't know. I know Jeff will never kayak, but he loves that thing. He mind is an outdoors kite man. You know, take that right, that, take that way. He's ripping a part away, part man he wants to be. Well, that ain't right. What are you doing? Just staring at the wolf stain where the wood used to be. You know, if you listen really carefully, you know, humming and termite infestation. And it's all around us. Guess what I found in Tony Kutcher's Tyler's Kutcher's Well, now, why would you give that, give me that? What is it? Some kind of sick joke? No. Just realise how much the wood part meant to you. I thought you might want to start it again. Nah, give it to the girl. She's the future. Eddie, listen to me. I see you in the tools belt. I saw you the man who knows how to work with... I saw a man who knows how to work with wood. Problem is, is it you. Problem is, it was you don't have the proper tools, oh boy. The guy at the store said you could cut through... But anything with this, oh, well, I will. Oh, it's amazing. You know, I did kind of feel a little held back by my equipment. You were. Uh, you need your wood. Honestly, Eddie, I miss the man. 
Well, I mean, you had the wood pile. Come here. I don't know what to say, and thank you. Can't wait to show this to Greg. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, she doesn't, doesn't, no, she doesn't, didn't, doesn't write it anyway.